Hi everyone, Grim here. I'm here to read you a story. Scary stories to tell in the dark. Hi everyone. Do you notice that Matt's not here? This is it. This is my last story, Tom. Oh, hey guys. Time for another Grim story time. That's right, guys. So. Welcome and thank you for joining us. It's Grim Story Time. A doo 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 doo. Why are you sitting there? That's my I'm... seat. No, no, no. Over here. Come on. I'm reading. Over here. This is my there outcome. I'm supposed That's to right, read. That's right, guys. And uh, again, another great story coming from Grim. Here you go, Grim. Well, there's no bookmark. There's no bookmark! Page 62! 6 62! 62. Okay, okay! The green cow? Chicken! It says cow. No, chicken. You're gonna say chicken. It's chicken. Don't say cow. Do not say cow. It's chicken. 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 All right. Thank you. Same. All right. Ari enjoyed staying at her grandparents' farm every October, but that all changed on October 30th. She was eating supper with her grandmother and grandfather when Ari's grandfather asked her to lock up the cows for the night. Chicken. It's not chicken. It's chicken. But it says cow. Just say chicken. Go back to it. Go back to it. Go back. Yeah, start. Well, I don't. Just go back to it. When Ari's grandfather asked her to lock up the chicken, Look is that necessary? Keep reading. I don't want to read. Read. Okay. Silently, Ari obeyed. This is not what I Just want. Just keep reading. About halfway to the chicken pasture. <coughs> Please kill me. Please kill me. Please kill me. Now. She heard one of the cow- Chickens. Chickens. Jesus Christ. Chickens. chickens. She heard one of the chickens- <coughs> I'm, I'm sad. Is this a joke? Is this a prank? Why can't I read alone? Help me. Keep reading the fucking book. But it sounded almost guttural. Hmm, strange, thought Ari. The cows were using- CHICKEN! Oh my god in heaven. What? I'm trying! Chicken. 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 The chickens were usually at the barn at 7 o'clock, and that is the time that R usually locked it. But now it was 8 o'clock, and this... Can I say moo? No. What does the chicken say? Does the chicken say fucking moo? Have I been mooing this whole fucking time? Why are you being so... Do it like that. Why are you being so... Mean? Stop being mean to me! And this... Bacock? Bacock! Was in the pasture. The cows were all inside safe and sound. The chickens! The chickens! The chickens! The chickens! I'm trying! 
I'm trying. The chickens. The chicken. Okay. Okay. Just go back a couple of words. Okay. Okay. The chickens were <laughs> inside, safe and sound. After Ari locked the barn up, she saw it for the first time. It had a chicken's body <laughs> and a human-shaped head. Its face was black and featureless, except for the wide grin on its face. Its body postured with distorted, was distorted as if it had been hit by a car or a really big truck. I'm so nervous right now. You are scaring me. Initially, Ari wanted to help the creature due to its condition. She moved towards it, but jumped when it scrambled out of the gate towards her grandparents' back screen door. Ari screamed. Whatever this was, she had to get to her grandparents. She had to let them know about the animal to make sure they were safe. Ari ran around to the other side of the house and burst through the front door in the hope that she'd made it in time. A red and eerie glow emitted from somewhere in the house. The floors, which were once covered with carpet, were now completely bare. It was as if something had eaten it. The wall, which was once covered with window curtains and paintings, had neither now. There was a red couch in the middle of the living room, and that was the only piece of furniture that was left in the room, and on the couch sat Ari's grandparents. They were still, unnaturally still. Kind of like you. Okay, slow down. I'm scared. Down. Slow you're down. scaring me! Slow down a little bit. Pace yourself. I feel like you're going to hit me. I'm not going to hit you. You're going to yell at I'm me? I'm not going to yell at you. Maybe. Okay. Then, in a blink, the lights flickered on, and everything in the house appeared back to normal. The floors were carpeted again. There were pictures on the walls, and a teapot whistled in the kitchen. Her grandmother stood up and walked to turn it off as if nothing had happened. Ari began to think this was all some kind of bad dream. She exhaled with a relief and sat next to her grandfather. Her heart still pounded. I'm feeling really weird, Grandpa, she said confused. I'm feeling kind of weird, too. Grandpa. I have to say Grandpa, too? You said Grandpa. Like, again? Yeah, say it again. Say that whole line again. But, like, Grandpa. If I smile, does that mean I get a smile back? I'm feeling really weird, Grandpa. That's better. She said confused. <clears throat> he stared at her blankly and said, That's a nice deer. <laughs> That's a nice deer. <laughs> It's a nice deer. <laughs> That's when she realized that things only seemed the same, but they were far from it. Ari never saw her grandparents again. Well, at least not the way they were before that night. When they appeared, unbleeding in the living room couch. On the living room couch! Fuck! <laughs> now they were different. She couldn't explain to anyone what exactly was off about them. They just weren't the same anymore. Like now. This is not the same. This is not what I'm used to, and I'm really scared. Sorry. The next day was Halloween. Early in the morning, Ari took a walk, still shaking by the previous night's events. Soon she passed the cemetery. She was about to walk on, but she stopped abruptly. Sitting on a bench was Ari's grandfather. He was all slumped over and he did not appear to be moving or breathing. Ari decided to check on him. Slowly, she unlocked the gate that led to the cemetery and made her way towards the bench. When she was right up close to the bench, she felt someone grab her arm from behind. Ari jumped. It was her grandmother. But why couldn't she see her face? G Grandma, she stammered. Who did this to you? It's probably you. Why are you staring at me so mean? I know I'm reading, right? Just keep reading. I haven't heard any mention of chickens in three to four minutes. Easy. Could you maybe make her grandmother a chicken? 
So every time it says grandma, I say chicken? Yes. Do I have to do this? Yes. Do I have to do yes, this? Yes, you have to do this. Is, Keep reading. Did I do something wrong? No, yeah, Is yeah. this my punishment? Okay. Okay. I'm doing it. I'm doing it. Both of Ari's grandparents looked up. Ari choked back a scream at what she saw. Both of her grandparents' faces were decayed. Their blank eye sockets stared up at her. Ari gagged a putrid stench. Ari gagged as a putrid stench greeted her nostrils. Ari's chicken <laughs> gnashed through rotting teeth and said it was the grinning chicken. <laughs> And it says here, there is a game where you can summon the grinning chicken. We're done? But I- I don't like this! Right, no! No! Yeah. Oh, we're done. Fuck! We are no. done, Do not! Do this! Uh, no! Wait, wait, I'll do it better! I can finish it! I can finish it! No! 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 Hey guys, I hope you enjoyed the last episode, season, of Grimm's Storytime. Please don't come back next season. Thank you. Okay, we're good. <laughs> Weird. That was good. Okay.